Welcome back to another TSW2 Roadmap Recap. Today we have a lot of stuff to talk about, but before we get into the video, I'm going to ask all of you to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if you'd like to support me even further, consider becoming a channel member. Let's get straight into it. So starting off, we see the Arosa line, the GE442, um, in its 100 year um, anniversary livery for the Kerr Arosa line. I believe this is the this is a part of the new livery pack that uh, River Games is making for their Arosa Lini or Arosa line route. So that's pretty cool to see it in action. We have the uh, the Christmas gate car or whatever they called it. Um, I remember watching uh, part of their showcase live stream on it and it looked pretty cool. Not something that I will be picking up for the Arosa line though as I'm kind of just like done with the route. I kind of gave up on it after a certain point. Reading on. We have arrived at the last roadmap for 2021. In the run up to the end of the year, the Dovetail Games team are starting to wind down for the festive season. In this week's roadmap, the RHB Anniversary Collection moves into next arrival along with the Arosa Line timetable updates including improved physics for the GE 4-4. The Arosa Line Core Route is all you will need to activate the update when it comes, becomes available and owning the anniversary pack is not a requirement for those of you looking forward to these timetable updates. We have a new addition to end planning on the roadmap, with an expansion pack coming for Trainsome World 2. This expansion will add new content to the original routes of Sandpatch Grade, Baker Lou Line, Schnellfar Streck Clone Akin. Very interesting. Now, I'm <laughs> hearing this, right? Sam Patch, Gray, Baker Lou, and Clone Atkin getting new stuff? Wow. First of all, liveries, services, and scenarios. I wonder what liveries we're getting for the Baker Lou line. I wonder if they're going to try and slip in a uh, Mark 1 72 stock livery for it. I think that could be cool. Um, not sure what they would do for Sam Patch Grade um, and Clone Akin, but I would definitely like to see what new services they add for the Baker Lou line. Uh, it says in scenarios for these parts of the pack, this pack will also include access to a new tool, the Creators Club, that will allow sharing and downloads of livery designer and scenario planner creations made by the community. I am so pleased to hear that. Some of you may have watched my recent livery designer wishlist video and I did mention sharing in that video and I'm glad that it will be coming to the game. It will just make it so much easier for certain creators to get their uh, their pieces of art and work out to the community and some YouTubers like me could possibly review their um, liveries in a video on their channel giving them more recognition. You know, It's a win-win for everybody. Uh, moving on, we are pleased to share that we are working towards an update for the Red Signal Deadlocks, which have been appearing more frequently for players across all routes recently. I've definitely noticed this a little too much on routes like Boston Sprinter. There has been plenty of movement for the Preserve Collection updates as ongoing work moves from in production to upcoming. This sig signifies that the work Adam's team has been doing has concluded and has now started the process of being tested by our QA team. We have also added, added a significant number of new additions from the preser preservation crew this week. We will be talking with Adam in detail on the stream about these new additions. In case you missed it, Amtrak are celebrating their 50th anniversary this year. Sorry if uh, the mic just like rumbled or whatever, accidentally hit it. Um, but and to celebrate, they have wrapped an ACS 64 locomotive in a very special Train Sim World 2 livery. This particular livery will also be available in the game and goes straight to next arrival. As a festive gift from us, you can get it entirely for free when you own Boston Sprinter. Very, very nice to hear. I'm not sure if I'll make a video like talking about the new livery. You can see it right here. I'm not sure if I will. I've seen it in action actually on um, some Amtrak trains um, around New York City. So that's pretty cool. But um, I'm glad that they've given us a new free, li free livery for Amtrak. I guess that's cool. Finally, that we are pleased to share that our annual year in review Q&A will be going ahead on the 29th of December. 
Get your questions in here beforehand and we will aim to answer as many as we can. Now moving on to next arrival, starting the actual roadmap, we have the Arosa Line timetable update, the ACS 64 Amtrak 50th anniversary livery, and the RHB anniversary collection. Looking forward to the first two, I'm not really a big fan of the new anniversary collection with all those scenarios and deliveries and stuff. Personally, I feel like it's overpriced, but whatever. And in the upcoming section, this is where the bulk of everything is now. I'm very interested in all of the stuff that they've added here. So starting off, we have adding crossing gates to the preserve collection, adding platform departure boards to the preserve collection, adding the new skybox and road traffic to the preserve collection. Then we have the Dresden to Chemnitz, Ch Ches Chesnitz, Chem Chemnitz, Ke Chem, I don't know. Anyways, though, with the DBBR 612 and 143, I've heard rumors of a rail pool livery for it as well, so definitely keeping my eye on that route. We have improved si uh, skies, improved track uh, re rendering, and level crossings for East Coastway, um, preservation crew upgrades for GWR, and half shot grind rear variants resting. We have new grade crossings for Long Island Railroad. Uh, RRO, Preservation Crew, Feature Updates, Transpennine, a lot of stuff is being added to the old um, preserved routes and I'm very, very pleased to see that. Got stuff for Sandpatch Grade, Clone Atkins, East Valley Line, MSB, The Baby Bullet, Peninsula Corridor, RSN, very, very cool. Uh, we have the rush hour passenger system, adding rail dr driver support to the preserved collection, and the unknown london commuter update and then we have the oakville subdivision preservation update now on to in production another big part of the roadmap we have calf cart gameplay fixes reports of broken scenarios very interesting i've completed all the scenarios on the calf cart circle line route so i don't really know of any uh broken scenarios or anything like that we have core fixes to address recent increase in red signal deadlocks definitely needs to be looked at on the Boston Sprinter and London commuter routes. We have an expansion pack, which I'm very interested in. We have LGV Mediterranean Dovetail Live Mastery. We have Rapid Transit on train destination displays. Very in interested in uh, seeing how that's implemented. We have Ryan Rowe Austin and T's Valley Line Dovetail Live Mastery. I really wish they'd just like grouped all these together into one instead of having lgv up here then uh split apart by rapid transit i feel like it should all be in one group but whatever uh we have pis screens for west somerset railway we have the horseshoe curve route which is still in production um csw2 rush hour core updates include improved cloud visuals and then the usual stuff um including this when are we getting this? I really want to see the BR420 come out soon. Like, it's been on the roadmap for over a year now, and I understand we're not really supposed to rush certain things on the roadmap, but come on. I feel like they're having, uh, TSG is having, a, a, the main issue is uh, being that it's a three car train. It can't really be substituted with the BR423 on HMA. I feel like there needs to be an all new timetable for the train. That could be the issue. Uh, moving on, we see the Harlem line there, which has gotten a lot of uh, buzz on the on the DTG forums of people talking about extending the line up to Southeast instead of ending it at North White Plains. And it doesn't even say North White Plains anymore, it just says White Plains, which worries me. Uh, very, very worrying. Anyways, though, in planning, we have Scenario Planner and Livery Designer 2.0. PS4, PS5 profile transfer, Spirit of Steam first released, and the add-on limit fix. So a very interesting roadmap. I'm most interested in what they said here. This whole paragraph is very, very interesting. I want to see what's included in this expansion pack for the Baker Lou line. I really hope it's the Mark 1 livery for the 72 stock, as I feel like that 
it it would be cool to see a bit of variety of the trains you know some new services maybe they can include like maybe a 80s or a 90s timetable or they could give us the full 400 services but whatever um i would also like some improved sounds with that <laughs> but um i'm very interested in what they're going to be doing to improve these routes and hopefully Schnellfarstadt clone Akin can uh, get the actual BR-423s that run on the S-Bahn section of the line instead of continuing to run um, S-Bahn Rhein Ruhr BR-422s which are the incorrect variant and incorrect livery of train. Um, I'd rather have the correct train with the incorrect livery instead of just both incorrect, you know. Um, but it's very interesting, uh, this new roadmap. I'm looking forward to checking out the stream. By the time this video comes out, I would have already checked out the roadmap stream, um, since I am recording this the day of the roadmap coming out. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think about this new roadmap in the comment section down below. I'd definitely be interested to hear all that. And, uh, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Also, consider becoming a channel member. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.